In child's pose, there are various ways to use the box which can help the body to relax. A block can be used under the forehead, as well as under the feet, or under the sit bones. When in butterfly or cobbler's pose, the knees or thighs locks, which allows the body to relax deeper into your stretch. Likewise, in head to knee pose, resting the bent leg on a block can help you to relax deeper over the extended leg. A block can also offer the body something to reach to. If bringing the hands or feet all the way to the mat is uncomfortable or brings the body out of alignment. In revolved wide leg standing forward fold, the hand can be placed on top of the block instead of on the mat. This modification can also be used in extended triangle pose by placing the block behind the ankle to support the palm or fingertips. This also helps to keep the upper body aligned over the hip. In downward facing dog, the heels can reach back to a block in the event they don't comfortably touch the mat. And in plow pose, the toes can reach to a block placed above the head. In addition to offering support and helping the body to relax, blocks can also be used to help deepen your stretch or build strength within the body. In an elevated lotus posture, blocks can be placed under the hands to give the body more lift from the mat, allowing you to more effectively engage the abdominals. Remember these are general guidelines and you might find the prop is better suited in a different position for your body.